Good day to all of you. As you all know, on the first day of a new week, we all learn something new. And on the following day, you all revise what you have learned. However, in today's class, besides revision, we will also learn something new. What shortcut command is used to make our sheet clear and clean after drawing? To make your sheet neat and clean, Ctrl plus A plus delete command is used. Alright, so now all of you go ahead and open your notebook, turn it on and open the MS Paint file on it. So have you all been able to open the MS Paint file or no? If not, then please carefully look at the video being played and with its help, open the MS Paint file. First, move your pointer to the start button, which is in the left corner of your screen or desktop. Then, using the left button on the mouse or touchpad, Click once on this button. A box opens up and you will see all program as an option in this box. You have to click it once using the left button of the mouse or touchpad of your computer. After this, you will see an option saying accessory. And this is the option that all of you will select using the left button on your mouse or touchpad. We have to move our pointer so that it comes on top of the paint option. Again, using the left button on the mouse or touchpad, click it to open the paint file. What you are going to learn in today's class is as follows. What is thickness of line? How is the color palette used? How do we choose our favorite color? At last, you will draw all these pictures that are shown. The picture being shown in front of you is going to help you to learn about the thickness of the line. We use thickness of the line to increase or decrease the width of the line. If someone asks you to draw four lines and says that all of them should be of different sizes, then we use thickness of the line. Look carefully at the picture in front of you and say where all you can see areas marked by red circles. In this picture, there are two places where the red colored circles are shown. Of these, the first is line tool. And the second is size, which we also refer to as thickness of the line. As soon as you click on size, a box will open and you will see four different sizes of lines. The first is the thinnest. The second is thicker than the first. And again, the third is thicker than the second. And the last one is the thickest of all. Depending on our requirements, we will select the line size and then with the help of the line tool, we will draw our required line. With the help of the line tool, today, you all will make the first drawing of this class. In this picture, you can see that four different kinds of lines have been drawn. Can all of you tell me? the name of the tool that has been used to draw these lines and also how have these lines been drawn. To draw these four lines, the first thing we will do is to select the line tool and then we go to the option which says size. In order to make these four lines, we will be using the line tool and the thickness of the line option. Select the line tool and then select the thinnest size of the line from the size option by clicking 
with your left button on the mouse or the touchpad. We then draw a line on our drawing sheet by dragging, keeping the left button pressed and dragging upwards. Once we have made this line, remember to remove the dots at the ends by clicking on the side. Again go to the size option, select the next size of the line, come back to the drawing sheet like this as is being shown in the video and from here keeping the left button pressed drag a line upwards parallel to the first line. Remove the dots by clicking on the side. Once again go to the size option, select the next thicker size and come back by dragging draw another third line which is parallel to the first two lines like this. Once again we remove the dots, go back to the size option, now select the thickest line option, come back to the drawing sheet, drag the mouse or the touchpad while keeping the left button pressed and draw this line. This way your image is now ready. We will learn about color palette and get to know about what is a color palette and how and why we use it. Color palette has different types of colors which we use as per our requirement in our drawing. Next, we will learn about the use of the color palette and get to know more about how and where we need to use it. We use the color palette with the help of color box 1 or the color box 2. During this class, we will only be learning about color box 1. In this picture, as a first step, we will select the color that we want. The color that we select from the color palette will come into the color box 1. After this, we will draw a line which will be in the exact color that we had selected. We use color box 1 to change the color of the outline. Such an outline means the outermost border line of any drawing. How will you make this picture being shown? Now, with the help of the color palette, we need to draw the given picture and we will need to use different types of colors and also need to use the thickness of the line. Let's watch the video. It will help you to draw this picture. In order to make this picture and we'll select the line tool first like this and then we go to the size option, select the thinnest size and we have already selected color 1 to make a colored line by dragging as is being shown. Remove the dots by clicking on the side, change the color 1 to green color next Select the size option, select the next thicker line and drag a line from this point like this. So we have a green line now on top of the pink line appearing like a cross. Remove the dots on the ends of the lines. Go to the color option again. Select red as color 1. Select the size, the third thickest line and draw a line horizontally between the cross as is being shown in the video. Again, remove the dots on the sides of the draw line by clicking on the side of the drawing once. One more time, we go to the color option, select the blue color, go to the size option, select the thickest line now, the fourth option and draw a line like this. This way, our image is ready. Again, to delete this image, we need to use the select option and use the select all from there and then if we look for the delete button and press it on the keyboard, this image gets deleted. In the previous class, we had made a house but that house did not have any colors. Can you tell for making this picture, what all you need to do? For drawing this picture, 
line tool, thickness and color box will be used. If you like, you can choose the color that you want to make this colorful house. If you can make this picture, then draw it. Else, watch the video carefully, which will help you learn how to make this picture. In order to make a picture of a colorful home, so firstly, from uh, the options in the toolbar, select the line tool and we have selected color 1 as brown. Select the size also. We have selected the third thicker size and drag a line as is being shown in the video to make a part of the roof. Drag another line to make the other side of the roof of the house like this. Remember that we have to remove the dots at the ends of the line by clicking on the side of the picture. We change color 1 to black and join the two end points of the lines, first two lines to make the roof of the house. Next, we change color 1 to the blue color and make the walls, the vertical lines which are showing the walls of the house by dragging from the point to downwards. A second one, a second line on the other side, again dragging downwards. To drag, you have to keep the left button pressed on the mouse or the touchpad and drag your mouse or touchpad. Again, we we'll now use dark green color for the base of the house and join these two endpoints of the blue lines, like this. We go on the side and click so that the white dots get removed from the endpoints of the lines. Now we again select a different color, dark brown. Come here and we will be drawing a vertical line here. Like, we, like is, it is being shown in the video, we are going to be making two windows in this home. So we need a horizontal line as is being shown to you in the video. Now from this point, we draw a vertical line. And then finally, we will close the the window by making another line down here. We make one more on the other side. Take the cursor or the pointer here and keeping your left button pressed down, drag to make the line. Again, from here, draw a small vertical line. From this point, we need to take one more line downwards like this and then join the two end points of these two lines to make the second window. Remember that after drawing each line, we are going on a side and clicking to remove the dots from the ends of the lines. Now we have selected the green color and also we have selected a, the thinner line and we are making these bars in the window. One more, like this. This one is slightly thicker. So we have changed the thickness of the line by using the size tool. So we make one here and we choose the size, the thicker size and make the thicker line parallel to the first line. Now we also need a door in our home. We are drawing a third line, a thinner line here. Now we have changed the color to yellow, changed the size to the second thicker line and are going to make a door for our home. Just like this, we make a vertical line. Then we make a horizontal line from this point. Take it downwards from here. 
as is being shown here and the picture of the house is complete. We are just making a base of the door also. To erase this drawing, you will again use the select option and use select all and then you look for the delete key and press the delete to remove this drawing. Now, all of you need to close the paint file since today's class is ending here. Do all of you remember how we had previously closed the paint file? Now, all of you need to shut down your computer. All of you who remember how to shut down the computer should go ahead and shut down your computer. And those of you who do not remember should look at the video being shown carefully and learn once again how to properly shut down the notebook. Let us now learn how to shut down your computer. Bring your pointer to the start button as is being shown in the video. Next, use your mouse or touchpad to click on the left button. A box appears and you have to look for the shut down option and take your pointer there. Then, using your mouse or touchpad, click with the left button and this will make your computer shut down. So, in today's class, we learned about what is the thickness of the line, why and how do we use it. We learned what is color palette and why and how it is used for. We learned what is color palette and why and how it is used. And in this class, we have also made many pictures using the line tool. And finally, we also learned how to shut down our computer. Thank you.